Okay, you can tell Steam sale is going on or something because uh, look at the side of that bar. <laughs> let's just let's just go. Let's just jump right in here, there, everyone. Say, okay, it is the ambush for December twenty third. Here we are. Is things be popping? Familiar faces, unfamiliar faces. Rao cow, woe plague be upon ye. Buckle up, the queen of violence. Wow, crow, you just know how to talk to a guy. Aerta <laughs> Noctis, I am sure I've heard about, but I don't know anything. It is a demanding Metroidvania that combines intense platform gameplay with enemies that will get the most out of each player, explore recovery of power, and help the King of Darkness in the pick adventure only suitable for players who want a real challenge. It always kind of tickles me when... That's what they put the emphasis on their little burst. Like, oh yeah, this game's hard. Yeah, this game's hard. That's that's what we're saying here. And I th I think that is always very good at getting my attention. So, <laughs> it is now. It is now something I own. Thank you, Crow. Pico, hey there, guy. Merry Christmas. Let all your grapes be as fruitful as ever. See, grape is a reference to past event. The nonary games, I don't know what that is. Part of Zero Escape. Kidnapped and taken to an unfamiliar location. Nine people find themselves forced to participate in a biological, diabolical, diabolical nonary game by an enigmatic mastermind called Zero. Why were they there? Why were they chosen? Put their lives on the line. More importantly, who can be trusted? So it's that kind of game. There are more than nine people. Actually... I could say that there are two clumps of nine people, it looks like, looking at a box art. So what's up with that? Yeah, Zero Escape, that rings a bell. Oh, that one looks a bit more personal. Yo, it's a double whammy again. This must last until Squirrel with a Gun is out on Steam. Squirrel with a Gun. Even by the bookload of game piles ready, have on top. Even by this bookload. Wow, that is a strange sentence. Picachilla. Hey, it's the same thing. Nine participants awaken, trapped in an underground facility, escape, and must play a game with deadly consequences. So someone made video a series of video game saws, it sounds like. Well, kinda. It's like an escape route thing. Like, we've got a bunch of people in a place. Sometimes you get racked up to this sweet machine that combs your hair. That's pretty good. You know, you just let a machine do it for you. Then P goes back again. I didn't expect that triple whammy, though. Oh, babe, it's triple. I hope you do like the game says. <laughs> See, that's funny because the game is called Remember Me. Remember Me Trademark is a third-person action adventure where players take on the role of Nillen, formerly Memory Hunter, with the ability to break into people's mind and steal or even alter their memory. That seems very rude. Why would you that, lady? I'm pretty sure that is not a moral thing to do. And Flubman is here. He just popped up. Another cave schmuck. Possibly the most Japanese thing ever made. What would be the most Japanese thing ever made? Akai Katana Shin. Uh, that girl. I'm just seeing Kula. <laughs> that's about it. Wait, that's a schmup? That's the box art? Alright. Be guided anew into an epic tale set in the Taisho era with three titles from Cave's Akai Katana series. It has captured the heart of passionate shoot 'em up fans. So this is three games. Yeah, it sounds like. And new features include online leaderboard and a new musical arrangement. And there's music remixes, which I will not understand. I'm getting a lot of shmups. I know a bit about Death Smile. I know that's a shmup. The Death Smiles 1 port is good, but a Death Smiles 2 port is not worth bothering with due to no slowdown. Okay, and because there's no slowdown, it becomes like impossible. It's a Donkey Kong Country 64 of shmups. Also, this smile is much harder than the Dompachi. All right, well, also that's a theme today. I feel like very difficult games. People know that I like to play those, even if I'm not necessarily good at them. The shoot em up of gothic horrors is back. Yeah. That's a funny way to put at it. And Flumman continues, a high effort, but even more overpriced DLC. Oh no, I hope you've been buying a lot of things here. Don't, don't overdo it, all right? I'm telling you this publicly. I, I don't want to have to get worried. However, this DLC includes what is probably the only shot type you might be able to finish the game with. 
What a weirdly rude thing to say, but I know it is meant with heart. So this mile, one and two additional characters. So it gives you five new characters. So it's the same game, but you get those ladies. Yeah, so this mile is a, is a, is a bullet hell. Difference with that you use like flying uh, women as characters. The main difference is that it's sideways instead of vertical. And uh, the patterns are not nearly as pretty, but the games are also a lot harder. Uh, next remote for Mushi Himezama. Yeah, right, right, right. I think I have that, right? I absolutely do. And then, yeah, here you tell me, okay, this uh, this explains a PM you sent me yesterday. It's like, hey, maybe the thing you might not want to check. I don't know. And so I have decided I will not just do the fact that there's a lot to go through. An alternate mode for Mushi, Mushihi Mesama, featuring an alternate color palette and remix soundtrack and new game mechanic. So it's it's DLC. Like, it's a DLC that changes the game in a meaningful way. Got it. Not a cave schmuck, James Down Plus, but a good one nonetheless. Yeah, so I own Jamestown Normal, and I played it for myself back when I played games not for the internet, back when that was possible for me to do. So apparently this has an upgraded version, or like a sequel that's not a sequel. It's itself for 17th century British colonial Mars in Jamestown Plus. Yeah, cooperative schmuck designed to be exciting for players of all skill level. I'll be the judge of that. Oh, changing suddenly here. And the arch is here with, I may as well give this one as well. After all, you can never have too much turtle power. I'd advise a first team video to avoid any copyright issue. Well, I found something on YouTube. So let's see what happens there. So I've heard about this again. Games that I hear about. Wow. Uh, yeah, so from what I understand, this is, uh, what do I say? Look at the blurb. They unite everyone to kick shell. That's just the vaguest of all description. But yeah, it's a sequel to the arcade turtle games, but like for modern stuff. With, I think, modern sensibilities. I think it's just absolutely wild that this exists. Like, that is super rad. So it's a... So like like the, the, the Cowabunga pack is like... Is a repackaging of like a whole bunch of old games. This is a brand new game. But in that style. And I do wonder how well that goes when you really think about it. Like, how can you modernize an arcade brawler while, while keeping its arcade brawleriness? Hi, Priest Cow Cow. Bet you didn't see this ambush coming immediately after I added you. That's right. I added you. You. I saw your friend request. Like, that popped up on my screen. So I could actually accept it. And then, yeah, indeed, I got blasted in the face several times this is a good it is marshmallow oh no oh no next year or the year after will be the years of shooting violence raging blasters the title is in one word but there's a space in the blurb vertical scroll schmup featuring high speed scrolling and the acceleration of destruction not mincing any words here so that's going to be another schmup it's one of my favorite semi-modern schmuck. Okay, semi-modern, not too modern. <laughs> Refrain, Prism Memories. Uh, Refrain, with the capital R, Prism Memories, is an empowering cyberpunk bullet hell shoot 'em up that focuses on fast-paced, offensive gameplay. Dive, uh, with quotes, into a hazardous digital world, cycle through three different attack modes, and delete the opposition with superior firepower. Fair enough. Uh, okay, and it features Lady that looks to be in flight. This game, just gonna say that I, I didn't see a a, uh, a a trailer for it, and due to the vast quantities of things, I think we'll just trust what it says. <laughs> Ger, and finally, here's one of my favorite shmups ever. You'd have to deal with Capcom Arcade. So this is a game for Capcom Arcade, which is probably why I couldn't find really a trailer, because. Capcom Arcade is like a thing. It's like a, a ready-made emulator for old Capcom Arcade games, right? And this would be a game of that, 19XDX, The War Against Destiny. Yeah, so, uh, oh yeah. Okay, so see, added to your lineup, the year is 90XDX. Humanity is embroiled in endless conflict with a mysterious enemy, Outer Limits. <laughs> okay, that just sounds weird. 
But God, yeah, not even the XCX. That is a classic shooter. I don't think I ever play. Oh, is this because I don't own Capcom Arcade Stadium? Success! Insufficient privilege. This is a funny error message. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to get Capcom Arcade Stadium before I can accept that. Got it. Mental note. I'm going to assume it's free or it's coming up later. Alright, hey, Tang is here. This one is from Tangy. DYK, did you know there are more Bib Trip games? This one is designed to be very bad Let's Play experience. Three very long concentration heavy levels. As is tradition, to be honest. <laughs> what? Bit Trip Core. So yeah, I'm aware of Bit Trip Runner. So this is Core. Takes the player into unfamiliar territory as they use Nintendo-style controls to blast their way through the barrage of beats. This rhythm music adventure. Yeah, Bit Trip is like a rhythm auto runner, right? So this is like marathon auto runner. I I don't know how that sounds as an experience. Not gonna lie. Okay, and here's Braden Ellie. Ailey? Oh, it's from K Braid. I see. Okay, got it. Oh, Master Suri, we haven't been around forever again. It's fine. Look, people got their lives. That that is no problem, Johnny. So I'll make it up to you with a game we love. You may not destroy the world. You can destroy a lot of robots. Hey, hey, hey. A lot of robot. That is part of the world. It counts. Mech Warrior 5 Mercenary. Mech Warrior, are those like strategy games or like simulation game with giant robots i, I think that mech wars are is a series that reinvents a lot though so i don't actually know no the year is 3015 the battlefields are dominated by war machines known as battle mech level entire cities and decimate the enemy in your battle mech <laughs> battle mech follow a quest for glory and revenge managing exp and expanding mercenary companies yeah see fly on your friends the four player pve cooperation and that is a game you love. So it has to be good. Like, that's just the law. Hey, it's Slave for This Is Back. Person who needs no introduction. That's probably me. Follow up gifts since the Steam late started. Yeah, see, this is why now there's going to be a lot. I expect tw the 24th and 25th and possibly 26th to be, to be something. Game is playable single player, but if you're not a lot of fun, you have a group willing to go all the way through. Yeah, that's why I've heard about Full Metal Furies. As you spawned me here, the soundtrack. Got it. Love the game. Then why not jam the music as well? This is the original soundtrack, Full Metal Furies, composed by A Shell in a Pit. That's a funny name. The full Ost features more than an hour and a half of music. That is nuts. So that is like a lot of music when you really think about it. Like 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 a musical artist, like in an amount on album released like somewhere between half an hour and an hour in general. Like you will have exceptions naturally. Uh, but, you know, exceptions are exceptions. This is the Fusion Warrior post. Okay, I'll solve the mystery of the bath. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Surprisingly, I managed to actually find a trailer for this. It is well known that cats aren't really fond of water, but as pet owners, we know that sometimes a good bath is welcome. Use bombs and blocks to channel the water and clean your cat. Well, actually... In general, you are not supposed to clean your cat. Like, it needs to be, like, a very special situation. Like, they're full of mud or they got skunked or something like that. Because, yeah, it's the reason why they don't like baths is because it is not natural for a cat to hang around in water. Like, that's just the reality. Yeah, you saw a picture of a tiger going taking a swim. It's because it lives in a savanna. It's, like, burning hot. Not in your living room. Oh, jeez, I'm not... It's too late for this. Is back. Agent Ow, I saw you didn't have this in your library, and I believe it is in your bucket list. I need to use up the character limits since I use these gifts to communicate. <laughs> but if you communicate about your communication needs, it doesn't really count. So, Psychonauts 2. I enjoy Psychonauts the first. Not as much as a lot of people, but I did genuinely enjoy playing through it. I don't know if I can play that game. For people who don't know... I have a thing. It's not quite a phobia, you know, but I have an extremely severe adverse reaction to the depiction of extremely realistic bones and, more importantly, in this context, teeth. Uh, 
I don't think I'm even going to show the trailer. I found it and I have it queued up, but I don't think I'm going to look at it because I don't want to see the teeth level that I remember very clearly seeing it when the game was announced. And like, you know, you have to play every level in that game. It's not like you can just skip it. I, I, it's a game I want to play, but I don't think I can. Like, just being purely realistic. Pikachu's here again. Bless this mess. Giving you even more because I sinned not watching your videos as of late. Well, no, no. It's the opposite. What are you... This is not how it works. Just have them run while not watching them, if you must. Nine No Woods, a game I've definitely heard about and purposefully avoided uh, Let's Plays of. I always got kind of a similar vibe to this. This is something I can say retroactively. But I had from all like experiencing a Wonder Song, like not necessarily like the same game mechanics, but in terms of just overall general vibrations. Nights in the Woods, an adventure game focused on exploration, story, and character, featuring dozens of characters to meet and also do across a lush, vibrant world. You guys know how I said how I've been seeking out um, trailers? I don't think I'm going to watch them realistically. Looking at the timer here on OBS, we're past 16 minutes. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> we, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I cannot. I cannot. Like, that is... I, I just feel like it's just taking up too much of everyone's time at this point. Rao, 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 rao. Dear cats, 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 dear cats. Dear cats, dear cats, dear cats, dear cats. Best wishes, squirrel in all caps. And still Pico in parentheses. I don't know what that is. Vegan Pines. Vegan Pines is a cute and creepy adventure set within a mysterious book. Sneak out late, make new friends, and cover hidden truths. Click words that will change the course of fate. Looks pretty, uh... That, that is some words. That is some claims. Never heard of this. I don't know what this is. I mean, the sounds made it sound pretty spectacular. It's an adventure. I don't really know what that means, but it sounds very serious. Oh boy. <laughs> At the end of the advent, there's gonna be like a hundred, I don't know how many games I was given, but a bucket is gonna grow so much more. It's kind of ridiculous, just absolutely ensuring that I never actually play all the games I actually want to play. There's so many of them, and so many of them are now just plain old available to me. Thank you, everyone, who has been sending things. I appreciate it. I feel like it's getting very excessive, and I don't know how I feel about it morally, but, I mean... I appreciate it. Like, it is humbling. I fear what the next two days may bring. But maybe things will mellow out. Maybe everyone got it out of their system and everything is cool. Like, at some point, people are going to run out of games that actually exist, right? Like, that's just, that's just law of averages, probably.